her henchman. henchman. Vincent, Vincent St. Clair, the yep. old exorcist. Yes, the fallen exorcist. Um, so he uh, he costs eight soul stones. Eight point henchman. Uh, he is a henchman living in rare one. He is a revenant, which I think that's her core. That's her. Yeah, like so. If she gave him the push, he's a revenant, so he'd get the zero action as well. Yeah. Uh, he has uh, the final veil. Uh, when another non peon model is killed within eight, the model heals one damage. Oh, that's what she has as well. Okay. When so non peons so, die, so so you have an you you can have overlap. They have a way to heal, okay. and they will both heal if something dies. And he's oh wait, but let's go back to Statlin though. His stat line oh, yeah. is pretty damn nice actually. Uh, defense six, willpower six, nine wounds, a walk of five, a charge of six, and a height of two. Uh, so we we talked about the final veil. Uh, yep, he could breathe heal. out their essence. Yes. Uh, <laughs> once per activation, when a course marker is discarded uh, within six, during another model's activation, this model may draw a card and then discard a card. Right. So when Reva does something like attack somebody and discard a course marker to do extra damage, if it was within six inches, he gets to cycle a card. Which is pretty good, actually. Yeah. I mean, not bad. Yeah. It's it synergizes well with her. Uh, funeral rites. Uh, when this model activates, choose a suit. For the remainder of the activation, af after both players have had the, the opportunity to cheat fate during an opposing duel, this model may discard a course marker in six and let it decide to add the suit t to its duel totals. So, you know, looking at whatever your triggers are, you'll pick a suit and you can just discard a course marker to add that suit at, after duel totals are determined. Interesting. So, and that's the thing, you know whether or not you're hitting. Because mm -hmm. both of you have had to cheat. Yeah. Now you're at triggers. So your opponent can't be like... Right, you can't be like, I have to discard this corpse marker. Oh, then it failed, that, and I lost it for that point. What if work with Shenlong's hmm? final duel total? Uh, well, he has it for attack, though, right? Yeah. Well, you're probably or no, not all using duels, it on... All duels, all duels. Hmm? Shenlong's oh. burning style. Well, and that's where uh, it depends when it's triggered. Mm -hmm. And that's, yeah. Of course, for the most part... The Vincent St. Clair player should be aware of that and know that, ah, he could yeah. trigger it. And then, then, then you Shenlong players do that and get people that got you on. This model Bad like Shenlong player. Bad. Always tell right. your opponent. Uh, so now we'll go... So well, it's it's pretty... also his, uh, his trigger. So he has both defense and willpower. Uh, where's your call? Right? Yeah. No, where are you call? Um, after resolving, push this model up to three inches. So basically, um, whether or not he's hit or not, he can push away from, into, however he wants to push. Mm -hmm. And right now into his uh, attacks. Okay. His primary profaned crossbow. crossbow shoots six with a built-in crow. Uh, it's range 10, resist defense, uh, and it does have the gun symbol. Uh, target suffers 2, 3, 4 damage. The attack ignores incorporeal and hard to wound. When randomizing into an engagement, this attack does not flip card for friendly spirits. So he won't randomize a spirit. So he actually has a weird synergy with Karai. Uh, uh, he does. In that, yeah, he won't randomize with her spirits. But going on. And then Unhollow Strike. After damaging, this attack deals plus one damage for each course mark within three of the target at a maximum of a plus two. So. So that's again with Reva if she's dropping corpse markers everywhere. And actually, I believe the way um, Eternal Dead, friendly models count this model as a corpse marker when performing actions that do not summon models. So it's kind of weird. He's performing an action, so he's a friendly model. Mm -hmm. He'd count things like corpse, like corpse candles and probably mindless zombies mm -hmm. as them. So they're surrounded by mindless zombies. He does extra damage. Oh, so the damage is damage. So up to two, so his damage oh, is pretty well. That's four, why five, six. That's why he doesn't randomize with spirits. Corpse candles are spirits. Oh. So they count as corpses, and then he won't randomize. Oh, uh, nifty. Um, oh. And so that's built in. He can always choose unhollowed strike. And then re repeating crossbow. After damage, you immediately take this action again. It may not declare trigger. So that's on a tome. He gets to so take another shot. Here you can get up to four shots. Uh, yes, four, two, two per two AP, per. yeah. 
and nothing wasted. After killing an animal, add one soul stone to the screw's pool. And that's on the Oh, ramp. okay. So imagine, so he does funeral rites. Mm -hmm. He picks tomes. Mm -hmm. Well, he's already set up in a perfect spot, and he's fires his crossbow. Mm -hmm. After resolving, once you know whether or not you're going to hit, mm -hmm. you can choose repeating, you can choose to discard a course marker yeah. and trigger a repeating crossbow. Yeah. Uh, and he can do that twice to ensure that he gets it. Of course, he needs those corpse markers, mm -hmm. and I'm still not sure if I if it'd be worth it to have Mortimer just making those for him. But it's a re it's a way he can spend that resource. Yeah. And light at the end. That's a zero action. That's a zero action. It's casting six. Uh, needs a target number ten with a mask and a. Uh, Ram. He does have the mass built in. So he needs a four of rams. Yeah, range ten. Target model gains the following condition uh, until the start of this model's next activation or until this model is removed from play. At peace. Damage suffered by this model cannot be reduced or prevented. Hide in shadows. After succeeding, move this model up to three. So with his triggers, you can't hold this guy down. Like, if you, you engage mm. Vincent St. Clair... He is going to get out of engagement yeah. and shoot you. In that's the face. that's the funny thing is he doesn't have an engagement himself. None of his attacks are close. Yeah. He just has a crossbow. But light at the end, as long as you cast it, mm -hmm. it has hide and shadows built in. So he's yeah. gonna push three. Yes. And then where you call after resolving, push three. So yeah, he. Oh, I get in and I attack you. I push out. Mm -hmm. So the only way to like pin him down is to move in and not attack him. Yeah. Because if you attack him at all, he's going to get a push, period. Or actually, Lilu might be able to... Um, or, him. I mean, there's various things. Yeah. Um, for example, um, if you can ignore trig defensive triggers. Yeah, yeah. So Joss and Executioners are just going to eat him. Yeah. But, but he is very hard to pin down. Harder than... Hell, he's harder than a lot of gremlins <laughs> to pin down. <laughs> so he's very slippery. Yeah. Um, and then and we'll then go to tactical. his tactical actions. Funeral Pyre, casting 6, target number 12, range 8. Target course marker and place a blast in base contact with it. Any malls touched by the blast must pass a target number 15 walk duel or suffer 2 damage and may not be reduced. Discard the corpse marker. Yeah. And then there, there's 2 triggers with this. Uh, if you get a tomes, after succeeding, place 2 blasts instead of 1. And with a crow, masquerade after seeing, don't discard the course marker. All right. Okay. Vincent St. Clair, I'm thinking, I th Reva, he does have a little, he synergizes very well with Reva. But I see Vincent St. Clair being taken in other other Rezzer crews. Yeah. Because Rezzers don't really have that much shooting. Uh, yeah, he's a good range support model. Yeah. Now, again, I um, he can summon spirits, but Nicoderm... It's one of those, it depends what you have. It may or may not. Um, actually, here's an important one. His upgrade. Mm -hmm. It's a straight up, oh, I think yeah. it's one point. Um, so one point, deal with death. Okay. He gains from the shadows. Just That's the first thing. Okay. So flat out, from the shadows can deploy anywhere that's six inches away from the enemy deployment. Mm -hmm. It also gives him a new zero action. Zero, retreat to cover. Discard a card to push this model four in any direction. This may only be taken if the model is engaged. So he gets the... Uh, um, it's the exact same thing that the Frycore Trappers have. Oh my god, so it's, he's pretty much he, a he sniper for... Well, he's not... He basically turns them into a pseudo Frycore Trapper. Now, he can't focus to double his range. But he can use soul stones! Oh my god! <laughs> he's but, a sniper that can use soul stones. Right, and so I, I saw one person talked about the Lone Marshal has an ability to push towards a model. Mm -hmm. um, so he, Vincent St. Clair, starts way out there, and then you push the Lone Marshal towards him mm -hmm. to he get has, them all further no out. He has no melee. He has no melee, actually. He's no melee. But that's why I see his upgrade, it, because he has no melee, is probably going to be taken most of the time. Mm -hmm. If you're bothering... Make him, make him a nice little stone sniper yeah, yeah. for a faction that has practically no shooting. Yeah. You know, like... But, I mean, think about the, the way Unhallowed Strike can bring his minimum damage up to Four, mm -hmm. if if there's enough corpse markers near the end, the target. And it's model. range ten too, which is pretty good range. Yeah. But actually, that's what it was. Um, mm -hmm. he, the problem is he might randomize, but um, Nicoderm and all his mindless zombies may very well 
still be useful despite Vincent St. Clair might still be able to shoot into those despite the randomizing just for that extra damage yeah and Vincent St. Clair yeah I, I really do like him he, he's a good shooting model he gives something that Rezzer's de oh I don't think it was desperately needed but it was like it was, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very obvious weakness that Rezzer's have the lack of shooting yeah, and um, combined with light at the end, where he gets at peace to just mm -hmm. ignore damage and the reduction. The funeral pyre looks pretty cool, though. I like I like funeral pyre. Yeah, that's also like, very interesting. Like a, a funeral pyre, like oh, you you we you guys are all in the informant marker. Funeral pyre, like. Yep. You, Thanks for bunching up, chumps. Yeah, no, those moments when you want to have to bunch up. Um, I but do you think he's an auto include with Ray? You know, I don't know. It's. But I think we don't know. I, I think. Enough. I think if your scheme pool is killing enough, mm -hmm. he could be a very good choice. Mm -hmm. But I think if they're if it's not as killy, then he's not as useful. But that's also Reva's strength is more killy ones. Yeah. Sure. So, sure. She's flexible like any master should be, but it seems like. Start recording. Alright, we're back. We just switched some battery packs. Yep. Uh, so, now we're going to jump into Archie. Yeah, Archie. This guy... Uh, I love this model. I love the art, at least, and the fluff. He's... Honestly, Archie's one of the things that is finally... That, that kind of pushing me towards towards Rezzers and Molly. Mm -hmm. You know? Alright, he... Okay. This guy is 13 soul stones, so he is not cheap. Um, he's a henchman, undead, and he's a rare one. Uh, he is a horror. His defense is four, willpower six, twelve wounds, a walk of five, a charge of six, and a height of three. Mm -hmm. um, so one of his things he has, he has terrifying all twelve. Uh, hard to wound plus one. And he has, he dropped his ice cream again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Casey, sorry. Uh, no worries. So he dropped his ice cream again. <laughs> this model may not heal more than four damage during a single activation. Now this comes in during his various abilities yeah. that let himself heal. And then he, 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 hey guys, he is so awesome. He doesn't have melee expert. He has a brand new keyword: attack, attack expert. expert. Uh, this model gains one additional AP that he may. Only may only be used to take attack actions. Yep. Like so, maybe later on we're gonna see some more models. I think he's the yeah. only model right now in all of Malifaux that has. Well, a, and I think it's because like he only has one that's not a melee action, mm -hmm. or um, he only has one shoot action, and I think he can only take it once per turn. Yeah. Um, yeah. This action. So it's one of those they gave him attack action so that it could be his shooting action, mm -hmm. or his melee action, since, you know, he can only use that once. Yeah. He could use his shooting for that special, and then charge Throw you. Throw the tentacle. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Wait till you read these upgrades. Cracks me up. So, um, yeah. so uh, one we'll of his attack chance is the, the pummeling into a fine mist. <laughs> yep. Melee six with a Red crow. smear. Uh, it's resist defense, range three. Target suffers, check this out, Four, five, six. Yep. Langston damage right there, baby. Langston. That's also uh, Nakima. Nakima, yeah. Uh, all, all, he, so he's matching with those 12 and 13 point beaters yeah. there. Lit, lit, and he has a, a built with a crow, which he has built in. Limbs to spare. spare. After damaging, discard an upgrade attack uh, to heal this model too. So you discard an upgrade and he just heals two. Yeah. And that's built into his pummeling. And then he has knockabout. After damaging, push the target up to five in any direction. Which so. he cannot get back into base contact. Um, well, it is up to. So yeah, so he, you can just put it so you're right within your three. Within the three. But yeah, so he'll, he'll knock back on a masks. Yeah. Which, you know, is great for if you knocked him just barely into three and you do it again to push him way out at the end. Mm -hmm. um, and then his next... What did I just throw? No, no, what did it just throw? Oh, no, what did it just throw? What did oh, it just throw? What did it just throw? <laughs> Shoot of six, resist with defense. Its range is ten. Um, in order to take this action, <laughs> discard an upgrade attached to this model, or course marker within three, target any model suffers three, three, four damage. Uh, place a course marker in base contact with the target. The action may only be taken once per turn. And the triggers. 
<laughs> which are built in. What is? Oh, ah, ew. Oh, oh you. <laughs> After damaging the target, and all malls within two of the target must make a target number twelve. Uh, horror duel. So it, it is a pulse. It is a pulse. So, he literally so, tears off a portion of his corpse and throws it at somebody. Right. And so on a crow, they get freaked out and take a horror duel. And then there's the extra pieces, which is on, on a, a mask. mask. Um, after damaging, if this mall discards an upgrade to take this action, immediately take the stapled on action and gain a tomes to your cast for the duration of the action. What, so, what is stapled? Can so you... then his his tactical actions, he has a zero stapled on. So extra pieces will have him take that immediately. Mm -hmm. um, casting six, target number 13 with a tome. So you need a seven of tomes to cast this. Now, if you're taking it from extra pieces, you have the tome, so you need any seven. Yes. Attach an upgrade with the restriction of Archie mm -hmm. uh, to this model following the usual restrictions for attaching upgrades at the start of the game. Then this model suffers an amount of damage equal to the upgrade's cost plus two, which may not be reduced. This model may, uh, may discard up to two corpse markers within six inches to prevent two of the damage for each marker discarded. So, uh, he has two zero upgrades and one one upgrade. Mm -hmm. So the zeros, as if you can discard a corpse marker, you take no damage. Mm -hmm. For the one upgrade, you have to discard two of them mm -hmm. to prevent all three of the damage. So, so he's got this these mechanics to remove upgrades to heal, remove upgrades to to uh, to make his range attack, and then his zero action staples upgrades to, back to, to himself. Add them back on. Now, what are these Archie only upgrades? And note, he could start with any upgrade. He. It's only the ones that he can attach to his abilities have to be these three. Yeah. So you can pay for these. Um, right. And so... Um, okay, let's, let's get... He's got the, the first one is very straightforward. Yeah. You pay one soul stone. Corpse it's armor. corpse armor. He is armor plus one. So now, on top of being impossible, hard to wound and terrifying, he's got armor. Yeah. Um, then very, he's got... Huh? Very yeah. nice. Kind of. Right. Then it... He, for zero, you get hulking, hulking leap. leap. <laughs> this is actually a very unique leap. It's hulking <laughs> leap. You need a... It's casting six to 14. You need an eight. Mm -hmm. Place this model within three inches of its current location. <laughs> so... He here, hops. The funny he thing. doesn't leap. He hops. Well, he only goes three, but because it's a place instead of a move, mm -hmm. he can ignore height restrictions. You can put him up on top of him. Which he, he could hop ten inches up. And three forward, and it's legal, even though something with true leap can't quite do that. Or, like, flight. Mm -hmm. But his is a place, so it's really weird how it's different. And then he's got rough landing on a masks. After succeeding, all models within three are pushed three away from this model. So he does the Hulk thing, where he lands and everybody flies backwards. Yeah, yeah. Alright, now my favorite. I love go, this one. Go ahead. Zero upgrade. Zero upgrade. Doc found a squid today. <laughs> this model gains the following abilities. Instinctual. This model may take two zero actions during its uh, activation so long as they are both different. Uh, with withering tentacle. When this upgrade is removed or discarded for this model, this model gains the focus one condition. But hey, wait, he only has one zero. But this adds another one. Right. Or if he had hulking leap. Yeah, or hulking leap. Sorry. Yeah, but hulking leap. in addition to his regular zero to gain upgrades... He can so, use zero a tentacle. It's a melee six. Target number twelve. Resist by defense. Uh, range three. Target model is pushed into base contact with this model. So there goes rip and like tentacle pulls the model towards you. Really, I like it. I like it a lot. Just yeah. both both like mechanically. I just I know I'm yeah. going a little bit off topic, but I love weird. Keep doing this. <laughs> I love your. I love the comedy. I love like how you're mixing mechanics, and like goofy thing, goofy interactions in the game. It's really cool. Um, yeah. So so that's him. He can grab all these upgrades, and like we were saying, he can discard any upgrade. Yeah. So you could start him with some of the Reser Generalists, mm -hmm. of course. The fact that he has two zeros, so you could start with both of those zero upgrades yeah. and then use those for the things you're throwing or getting rid of yeah. and pick up corpse armor later. Yeah. Of and course, you need 
markers or else he takes damage, but... Oh, well, if I'm a Rezzer, still... course marker shouldn't be an issue. Right, so... Uh, didn't, didn't we have one more? Yeah. And so, yeah, that was Archie and his Oh, didn't stuff. he have one more upgrade? Oh, no, 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 that was a different one. Was that different? That's one of the patch upgrades. Um, oh, uh... The, the wrong spirits for the... Oh, uh, okay, okay, well, that's one of the newer ones. Okay, you're right. Yeah. Well, I'm mistaken. So that was Archie. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. All right, Casey's not a big fan 